historically, you you, uh, you described it up on the day as just a moment ago. How did you see the race unfold? Well, he got away well, and he, he got in a position I like him to be in. I like him to be up there in the first three or four horses and sitting in back just a little bit off the rail if he can. And uh, Manny knows he likes it that way. He knows I want it that way. And the horse runs well that way, and he engineered it that way. He said he knew that some of the horses were going to go out that would be in the front. And he had it all figured out pretty well. I, I, couldn't, uh, I couldn't complain about anything. When you saw Manny make that turn and look over his shoulder, simply as you can describe it, Barkley, what went through you? Uh, when you have to look back, it's always a good thing in racing. You know? <laughs> but, uh, He's just a good little jock, and, and I, I like to have him riding my horses, and he does them well. He rode, uh, he rode the second filly I ran today, or he, he rode all three horses today, but he, he, he rode them both very well. And uh, the one that finished second was picked last all day and everything else, you know, but he just, he's, he's, he's a natural, he's a good rider, natural rider. When, when, thank you so much, guys. When tis the law crossed the line, Barkley, how would you describe the moment? The moment? Yeah. It's pretty satisfying. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. It's pretty satisfying. I've done this a long time. You, you touched on this. You were asked if this were like any other Saturday or different. You, you gave a wonderful answer, Barkley. How was this different than any other Saturday? Well, what, one word, it was quiet. Uh, the other time, not every Saturday do you have a horse like this and a race like this. And uh, I was pretty confident in him, but as confident as you can be in a horse race, because anybody can beat you in a horse race and anything can happen. I mean, he came out of the gate a little wiggly in, in, in Kentucky last, last summer and, and uh, just had a bad trip all the way around. And it was muddy and a different place and everything like that. And all that can happen. No matter what, it can happen. Secretariat was beaten four times, <laughs> you know? and uh, uh, you, you, it's a, you, you touched Barkley on the quiet and how ultimately you think, to a degree, there was an advantage in that. Explain what you were talking about on the day. Well, it's like every day we train. You don't hear a lot of screaming and hollering and music playing and bagpipes and all that kind of stuff on a regular training day, and uh, you can get a lot done that way with a horse, you know. And, and I'm not against the noise because they got to learn the noise too, and, and the noise is what is the machine that makes this thing all go. So uh, I'm not afraid of that either. But with a young horse, we just like to see him have an easy trip sometimes, and, and uh, win a big race at the same time. So. Last two, Barkley. How would you describe the plan going forward? Such a length of time now between now and the Derby, and what the plan will be going forward? Well, it won't be as long as the last one. <laughs> it's the last stretch, but uh, you know we, we we vary it very little. He'll he'll walk and graze for three or four days, and uh, get turned out in a little pen, and play around for, you know for the same four days, and then we'll start him back. We'll put a rider on him and take him to the track and jog him once around for a couple of days. Just go a little lighter on him. Probably won't work him for you know a breeze and work as a breeze. I don't know. How familiar you are with all these things. <laughs> so. Finally, a big picture question, Barkley. For people who have been so eager for sport as a sign of some return of flash of normalcy, what message do you think or hope a day like today with the Belmont Stakes being run could have provided or provided to you? Well, I think it would have provided all, all that hope for people that, you know, it's an outdoor sport. Um, like I say, the, the administration in this state isn't wild about horse racing anyway. And it was a, it was a beautiful race, and a beautiful day of racing, and, and Naira pulled it off really well. Um, and I'm not just saying that, it, it, it was. Everything went really smoothly. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.